red, yellow, blue, brown, blue again. Orange, orange, yellow, brown, brown, red, another gross blue, red, another blue. Blech. Orange, yellow, blue. This is a travesty, a travesty in blue. What's all this about a travesty, Prisha? It's a travesty. No, it's a tragedy. No, it's a conspiracy. Emma's M's have way too many blue candies, and everyone knows that blue is the most disgusting kind. Prisha, they all taste the same. You eat with your eyes. Everyone knows that, Dad. <laughs> I suppose you're right, but in any case, I don't think there's more blue candies than any other color. I think you just take more notice of the blue kind because you dislike them so much. No, Dad. I've been very scientific about this. I've kept a record of the last 25 bags of Emma's M's, and whether or not blue was the most common color in the pack. Well, Dad, what does this tell you? That we let you eat way too much candy. No, Dad, the 12 out of the 25 bags have blue as the most common color. Hmm. Well, that could just happen by chance. If you ate another 25 bags, maybe 12 of them would have some other color as the most common. Let's go buy 25 more bags right now! I'll prove you wrong! Nice try, but I'm not going to buy you 25 more bags of candy. I'll tell you what though, let's run a little experiment. If each color is equally common, as I suspect is the case, then the most common color in a bag will be equally likely to be any one of the six colors. Blue, brown, green, orange, red, or yellow. We'll color each side of this die with one of the six colors, and each time we roll it, we'll mimic randomly picking a bag and finding the most common color inside it. If we roll the die 25 times, it will be like buying 25 bags of candy under my hypothesis about all candy colors being equally common. Okay, so let me get this straight. We're going to roll the die 25 times and see if we get 12 or more of one color. Yes, and we'll repeat the entire experiment of rolling the die 25 times, many times, so we can see how often we have 12 or more of one color out of 25 rolls. Let's do it 10,000 times! Uh, that's quite a lot. Science! Um, okay, Prisha, let's get rolling. And if it happens less than, say, 1% of the time, then you have to buy me 25 bags of candy and I get to eat it all at once while you watch me, science! <sighs> it's a deal. We should use a computer for this. Agreed. We ran 10,000 experiments, and of those, only 18 of the 10,000 had 12 or more of one color. That means that using your model of equal candy color distribution, if we bought 25 bags of Emma's M's, the chances of having 12 or more bags with the same majority color would be 18 in 10,000. That means 0.0018. Candy time, chump. I guess I was wrong. If all the colors were equally distributed, the chances of you receiving 12 bags out of 25 with all of one majority color are exceedingly rare. Maybe there is a conspiracy. Science! Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.